Okay. okay. Lonnie Love. This, stuff. this is your last yes. season. Yeah, so you're going to take that stuff too? That I want right. to take yep. back right. with me. Yep. So, okay. Not yet. We still have a whole season to go. Oh, okay. okay. All right. I just want to mark stuff that All right. I need to take. All right. <laughs> you can take that home for sure. Thank you. You can have whatever you want. I love it. Uh, Cold. Lonnie, uh, you, have, uh, you have been here many, many times. I haven't seen you since I did your show last. Yes. Which was fun. It was our 1,000th episode, and you came, and you were surprising to me. So thank you so much. And I haven't been able to say thank you because I haven't seen you since then. So thank you for doing our 1,000th episode on The Real. Of course. 1,000 shows. You have become... You really have become a big part of the show. I mean, you were our DJ for a while, and, uh, and what, what is your favorite memory here? Uh, my favorite memory, uh, there's so many. I mean, first of all, thank you for letting me stay behind that DJ booth. First of all, I met my brother Twitch that way. Mm -hmm. um, I met a lot of stars, and um, I met Tom Hanks. I met Kanye West. It, it's just so many different memories, you know, that I have that were really, really great. So, you And know. you guest hosted here, too. Now, that was hard. Woo-wee! <laughs> I, the responsibility that you have, Ellen, people don't understand. They think it's easy, because I'm going to show the three other people, you know, they can take the slack if I want to rest. I hosted one show of hers, and I was like, please get her back. Because <laughs> it is hard. I mean, I had some great guests, and you have some great people that work behind the scenes to make sure that I was comfortable, that I was safe, and I had the best show possible. RuPaul, Saweetie came, and I was able to give away $25,000. It was fantastic. It's fun, right? That part's fun. Um, I want to share my favorite moment that you, that I've had with you on the show. Oh, okay. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> you were learning pole dancing. Okay. So, I used to do a lot of field shoots for you. Yes. This was one of my favorite field shoots where I had to learn how to pole dance. You took, you made me go to a pole dancing class, but you know what? I got Moves, baby. Look at me. I was. Look. Yes. Yes. She ain't got me. She yeah. ain't got me. Yeah. Look. Look. The skinny girls. Look. Yeah. And then look. So I couldn't get all the way up there. I no. just stayed down because I didn't want to hurt myself because I had to come back to work. But right. that was one of my favorite moments, too. Yeah. I'm glad you remember because I forgot. Yeah. No. <laughs> We were just trying to fulfill a dream for you. You said you wanted to learn pole dancing, so we sent you to learn pole dancing. And that's the thing about you. You would always listen to me. That's why I had to be careful. So I said, you know, I want to get drunk on the show. She would have liquor the next day. I was like, wow, she fulfills my dream. So thank you so much. Can we give Ellen her flowers right now? Can we? You're very sweet. Thank you so much. And I think the pole dancing was, was a good... I don't know if it's responsible for your boyfriend, but you've been with him for three years now, mm -hmm. and uh, that had to have helped a little bit. Actually, it was that, but before that, remember, you set up my ChristianMingle.com uh -huh. website? Because I met him online on Christian Mingle, even though we're both not Christians, but we religious. <laughs> and we met on there, and it, we've been together for three years. His name is James. He's the sweetest. Look at Boo Boo! Wait, hold on. You both were on Christian Mingle and neither of you are, are Christian no. or religious? No, no, we're religious, but we're not Christians. But you know what? I wanted to meet a nice man. And so I figured, well, <laughs> let me go on ChristianMingle.com. And he was there too. And then when he said he wasn't really Christian, but he religious, and I was like, well, then maybe this is God's way of putting us together. <laughs> and I, we've been together ever since. Fantastic. All right. A um, couple of things I want to mention. This book came out, uh, 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 I think, uh, last year, right? Yes. Um, I tried to change so you don't have to. Very funny. Um, and then now y'all are back starting next week. The Real is back in studio. It's a reimagined, a small studio. But it's going to be us together. And, you know, these are COVID times. We have to stay safe. We have to stay, you know, together. But we owe it to our audiences of The Real to, you know, at least try to be in a studio, and so that's what we're doing. And we had a great premiere week, and we're gonna have continue to have great premiere weeks. So it's right. been great. And you're always welcome to come over to our little studio. I appreciate it. Oh, Thank we'll you so much. We'll let you do it on the camera. 
So no, okay. Just, you know. Come. All right. Okay, I gotta go. Okay. So I gotta go back to work. All right. Get your. Okay. All See right. you later. Thanks, I love Monique. you. I love you too. Bye. See ya. All right.